Hello team, welcome back. In the previous section, we have learned about the Prometheus installation and Prometheus execution. From this section, we will start learning about the Prometheus functionality. And very first, we will learn about the Prometheus exporters. So in this particular section, we will be talking about a couple of things like what are the Prometheus exporters? Why do we need the Prometheus exporters? Available exporters in the Prometheus and we will see a installation and configuration of the node exporter in Prometheus. These are the topics which we will cover in this particular section. Very first, let's try to understand what are the Prometheus exporter and what is the job of Prometheus exporter. So to understand the Prometheus exporter, let's take an example of the famous phrase in IT, undifferentiated heavy lifting. What is the undifferentiated heavy lifting? I hope you have heard this word many times in your career. So undifferentiated heavy lifting is a word which is mostly used in the cloud computing. And this phrase is used in context of the task which are repetitive, labor intensive and do not provide any strategic or unique value to the business. So these tasks are something which you are doing and your competition is doing, but you are not differentiating yourself by doing this task with your competition because you all are doing the same stuff that is repetitive and not including the unique or strategic value to your business. So that is something where you are basically wasting your time. Although you are doing a lot of work, you are doing a lot of task, but that is not adding the real value to your business. In these days, many IT companies are providing the tools. They are providing the services which you can use and avoid the such kind of undifferentiated heavy lifting activities. Let's take an example. So let's suppose you need the email client for your application. So it may possible you may start writing the email client from scratch, but that is not necessary at all because you can pick any good client available in the market. There are the multiple email client available in the market and you can use it. But if you are implementing your own email client from the scratch, that is not adding any differentiating value because you are doing that work which is not your primary business. This is just a functionality you need to achieve something in your business goals, to achieve something in your business strategy. So the best part is pick any tool, any client available in the market and use it. Same is applicable for the monitoring. While you need to inbuilt the monitoring in your system, the thing is either you can start developing each and everything from the scratch or you can pick anything from the available tool in the market. And here you don't need to build anything from scratch unless it will add a unique value. I will talk about this line again later after the coming slide. So for the monitoring, whenever you want to avoid the undifferentiated heavy lifting, what you need to do? You need to use the Prometheus exporters. What are the Prometheus exporters? Prometheus exporter is something which is extending the existing system. Whatever the existing system do you have, Prometheus exporter will extend that system and translate the statistics and the metrics available in your existing system to the Prometheus format. So what is the job of the Prometheus exporter? Prometheus exporter job is to extend the existing system, extend the tools and the statistics of the existing system and translate those things into the Prometheus format. We have already discussed that what is the Prometheus metrics format in the earlier lectures. Whenever I'm talking about the existing system, there could be the any kind of system. You may have multiple Linux systems available in your infrastructure. You may have the database like the MySQL database, MongoDB, PostgreSQL. There could be the n number of database which you are already using in your production. You may have the messaging services like the RabbitMQ or Apache, right? It may possible that you are using these systems in your existing production environment. So whenever you have the existing systems, right, you don't need to build anything new. You just need to use the exporters to export the statistics, to export the data from these existing systems and to serve these data to the Prometheus, right? It will basically parse or translate your data from the existing systems to the Prometheus format and later Prometheus will scrape that data from the targets or from the existing systems. There are many more exporters available in the Prometheus. Let me show you. So if you will go to the browser and you will type Prometheus exporters, 
you will get a link exporters and integrations right which is present within the prometheus docs let's open it so you may go to your browser and search for the prometheus open the prometheus official website and over here either you can go to the downloads or you can go to this particular link many integrations see existing exporters allow bridging of third party data into prometheus click it and here you are getting the exporters and integration for the prometheus as of now there are many third party exporters are available in the prometheus and these are divided into the multiple categories you see the first category is the for database and we are getting the multiple exporters which are available for the database the exporters which are officially provided from the prometheus they are already labeled with the official term see this is the official exporter this is the expo official exporter and this is also the official exporter rest other exporters are either the community supported or either the vendor provided exporters after the database we have the hardware category and we are getting the different different exporters for the hardware we are also getting the node exporter over here and the mysql exporter over here then we have the issue tracker we have the exporters available for the issue tracking systems we have the messaging systems where the exporter is available for the different different messaging systems like rabbit mq nets kafka we have the exporters available for the storage http apis logging frameworks and there are exporters available for the other monitoring system as well if you are using any other monitoring system like aws cloudwatch influx dv collect d if you are using some other monitoring system the exporters are available over here similarly there are the exporters which are in the miscellaneous category we are getting the multiple exporters so we are getting the exporters over here and in the last we are getting software exposing prometheus metrics so there are the multiple softwares which are also exposing the prometheus metrics like the gitlab grafana diffusion docker daemon there are many softwares so basically exporters are categorized into the multiple categories and you see that there is a very vast list available for the prometheus exporter almost you are getting exporter for each and every kind of software which you can use in your production so we don't need to write something from the scratch until unless it is adding a unique value to my business we can use the exporters which are already available on the prometheus official site now let's see how we can basically use the exporter what is the way to use the exporter in prometheus so to use exporter you need to perform a few step very first very first you need to identify and install the desired exporter on the target machine whatever your target machine and what is the software or what is the service is running on that machine let's suppose you have the machine the linux machine and the mongo db or mysql database is running on that particular system so you need to identify the exporter that what exporter you need on that machine right and then you need to install them let's suppose on that machine where you have the linux machine and mysql is running on it you want the data from the system as well and from the service as well i mean to say the linux system and the mysql service in that case you need to install the two exporters node exporter and the mysql exporter because you need the different different data i mean to say you need the system data you also need the service data so it's all up to you very first you need to identify the need and then you need to install the relevant exporter or the desired exporter on the target machine once the installation is done in the next step you need to create the prometheus job to pull the data from exporters right you need to create a job in the prometheus i will tell you that how we can create the job in the prometheus and that job the prometheus server will pull the data from the exporters from the target system target system already have the data they already have the statistics the exporter is converting that data into the prometheus format and job is something which is pulling that data from the targets once you will configure the job you will make the changes in your configuration file then prometheus will gather the metrics prometheus will start gathering the metrics from the target and it will report the status of your job as well if the target server is offline the target service is offline then prometheus will tell you that this server or this service is offline and prometheus is not able to scrape the data from the target server or target service within the prometheus you can set up the multiple targets you can set up the multiple targets within a single job also you can set up the multiple exporters 
so it means you can so it means you can set up the multiple jobs this is a very flexible model once we will configure the things i will show you that how you can configure the job how you can configure the exporters and how prometheus will work with it although we have a very long list of the exporters available on the prometheus official website if still there is something which is not available over there which is not satisfying your business need then you can write your own exporters prometheus provide a very handy documentation that how you can write the exporters right so you can write your own exporter and that is the thing i was talking about in the last slide that you don't need to write down anything from the scratch until unless it is differentiating a value once something is not available then you need to implement it but if something is already available then that is not differentiating the value and you just need to pick the right thing and use it so this is the basic overview of the exporter in the coming lecture we will see that what is the node exporter and we will see how we can configure the node exporter in prometheus thank you team see you next time